गाइज वेलकम बैक टू रॉकेट क्या एंड माई फेलो स्पेस ट्यूबर्स ओके सो टूडे इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग डे फॉर अस फॉर स्पेस लवर्स फॉर स्टार गेजर्स एंड हु सो एवर लव द स्पेस एंड रॉकेट साइंस बिकॉज टूडे इज द डे वेन वी विल बी होपफुली बी एबल टू सी द नासा क्रिएटिंग artificial auroras in the sky and uh, if you are living nearby in the viewing range i would definitely definitely suggest that just go out look up in the sky uh tell your friends and family and just enjoy this phenomena i'll talk everything uh, about it and let you know how this thing works what is the rocket what is the payload and yeah so hi everyone hi brandon hi louis smith hi uh, shell shell byline walker okay uh, hi john davis hi maria scars weather here in uh, city is poor joshua says okay uh, hopefully it uh, improves and we'll get a perfect viewing for today um antonio mark says what's the go no go chances for as far as the weather is concerned so right now nasa is tracking the weather in which uh, they are actually tracking the ground winds in the upper winds but till now it is go for the launch uh, and uh, we never know if the weather changes at the very last moment but yeah till right now it is very uh, very much go for the launch and uh, we must be able to see everything properly so without any further ado let's just jump into it and let's just see what do we have in store for us so this is the rocket which will be lo launching today and you must be wondering uh, i mean you have seen all kinds of rocket but it's the uh, i mean seeing the rocket uh, from the picture and uh, seeing the characteristics of this rocket it looks mo more like a model rocket and uh, it is kind of that because it is a sounding rocket so if you don't know what's a st sounding rocket uh, there is two types of rocket orbital class rocket and the sounding rocket so if uh, uh, you just go straight up and then come down those kind of rockets are known as sounding rockets and if you go to straight up and uh, and then go sideways that to very very fast those are called orbital rockets so if you want to stay in space you go uh, you first go straight up and then go straight in, in the sideways direction that to very very fast so right now we will see the launch of the sounding rocket so this is the black brand 12 sounding rocket this is a four stage rocket in which you can see here this is the first stage this is the second stage the third stage and the fourth stage okay so talking about the sounding rockets here we have this uh, um yes uh, guys don't worry i'll tell you where to look in the sky for this launch i have that also prepared so just listen and enjoy and what i feel like whenever we see the phenomena we should understand also i mean what is happening so that whenever we want to you know tell the experience to other friends families or whosoever it might be we'll be able to tell it in a more elaborate way and we can experience and live that moment to the fullest so that's why i uh, you know try to uh, explain everything to you guys so this is the family of the sounding rockets which uh, nasa has and uh, right now the launch for today will be of their biggest rocket biggest sounding rocket which is the black brand 12 okay so uh, talking about the rocket characteristics and everything i mean this image which you are right now seeing here uh, this took you know very much hard work to find because uh the sounding rocket specifications and all those things you actually don't get to uh see so i have found this image so let's just see what is the thing so we have this first stage this is what we call uh, what they call as the um just a sec yeah the uh, tel telos rocket motor mark 11 mod 5 telos rocket motor that's the name of the first stage that whitish first stage then they have the terrier second stage which is the uh, orange one which you can see here and then they have the black brand uh, third stage this is this and then they have the fourth nika stage so they have these four stages and all of them runs on solid fuel as its propellant as well as they all have the same kind of solid fuel stpb which is a standard in the rocket industry the stpb stpb rocket fuel uh, so yeah 
that is the case and there is you know the separation mechanism for this uh, uh, rocket is very interesting because this kind this rocket actually uh, rely on the drag to separate the rocket and it has a very unique design to accommodate that if you see this thing see this uh, here the first stage and the second stage they are uh, you know joined by this tail section here which is uh, um, decreasing at the top which you can see here so when it is going upwards this uh, uh, the drag or, or i mean to say the atmosphere is pushing it downward just because it has some area in this direction the atmosphere can push it downwards in this direction and, and hence there is a differential in drag which is created which causes the rocket to separate so this is how the separation will take place in this one normal case we have those spring loaded pyros in which those are tend to separate the stages but here we have the drag which is causing it to separate the stage so this is a pretty epic one and uh, uh, so okay so hi everyone hi amaria if you have any questions you can shortly ask me and then i'll try to answer them so this is the rocket uh, which I to told you about and the payload capacity for this rocket ranges from um, 110 kgs to 500 kgs uh, sorry 110 to 410 kgs depending on the apogee it will reach the maximum apogee it can reach is 1500 kilometers and if you don't know what apogee is apogee is nothing but the highest point in the in its trajectory so it's just go straight uh, up and then come straight down right so that's how the the highest point at which it can go that's the apogee and the maximum it can achieve is 1500 kilometer but it you know varies with the payload mass it, it can carry so that is the case here now talking about the mission profile this is how the mission profile will look like uh, and uh, the rocket will straight go straight up and come and then come down so the engines will fire up you know for this much of time in which it is ascending and then uh, uh, all the stages will burn out and then it will co cost to, uh, to the apogee then it will come down and the payload will uh, most likely burn up in the atmosphere this is how it is supposed to work so now when it is going up it has uh, uh, you know these two canisters in it as payloads it will fire up one canister when it is uh, ascending okay in this area around 400 kilometer ish and then uh, after that uh, around 30 to 40 seconds or so it will reach the apogee and come down and after coming down also it will uh, again fire up one of its canister so this rocket is carrying two canisters uh, you know now you must be wondering what canisters what is the canister and i mean what it is carrying inside the canister i'll answer that also but right now it is you know like this so it will be carrying two canisters in which one will be fired up during the ascent and then uh, uh, one will be fired up during the descent okay and uh, because of that uh, canisters only we will have these auroras formation although the mission requirement is not the creation of auroras but that is possible uh, that is certainly a possibility which can happen okay so talking about the auroras let me just tell you uh, you know uh, we can always and always recap what auroras are and how are they formed so these are these are the solar winds and solar flares so what happens when sun you know ejects the coronal mass ejections are there this these solar field flares you can say that the, these are the coronal uh, mass ejection in which the sun what are coronal mass injection it is nothing but uh, sun is ejecting its uh, hot plasma helium and hydrogen particles to the space it's just not burning at all right now just releasing them into space so what happens it reaches to the earth's atmosphere uh, sorry the uh, near the earth magnetic field since the hydrogen and helium which they are which the the uh, sun is releasing those are the plasma particles those are uh, you know uh, these um, ionized hence they care uh, they deflect or attract to the magnetic field 
so we can see here it deflects most of the particle just deflects because of the earth's magnetic field which acts as a shield for the all the solar wind particles coming at towards it and but some of them actually causes and uh, comes inside the poles because we all know that the earth's uh, magnetic field go goes from the south pole to the north pole this is how it goes like and most of them just gets deflected away but some of them uh, is you know uh, goes uh, with the magnetic field lines and uh, gets trapped in these poles here and because of that uh, you know when it gets trapped we have the upper atmosphere in the earth and in the upper atmosphere you have oxygen and nitrogen and all those particles here and those particles interact with the sun uh, plasma particles ejected from the sun and cause the formation of auroras and that's how the earth gets the angel hat which you can see here beautiful angel hat right and you get to see this as the phenomena i mean yeah this is how what you get to see in the end a beautiful auroras in the sky uh this is what you get and then uh, uh these are all about the auroras how they are formed and uh, what are they so what about today's uh, uh, mission we need to know about that also right so i just talked about uh, the canisters which will be firing up uh, uh, in the rocket payload so let's just have a look what canister contains and how will it perform and how will it work there's a little bit of chemistry here but don't worry guys i am here with you and i'll try to explain and simplify everything at the very least level so that you can understand each and everything so let's have a look at it uh here you go so this is the thing which uh, is uh, making everything uh, making auroras today the barium okay this is the thing the canisters are nothing but the barium canisters and it will be releasing the barium vapors into the sky so why barium if you ask me so since you can see this is the electronic configuration nothing but how the uh, electrons are you know uh, attached with the barium uh, atom so we can see here these are the two uh, electrons which are very loosely held and uh, these are very far away from the nucleus more far away from the nucleus this center nucleus more loosely the electrons will be held and uh, these are uh, these does not even have much protection also from the outside forces since other uh, electrons have their bodies to protect if somebody attracts attacks from the outside but uh, sorry to say for these two electrons they don't have anything so that's why whenever the sunlight hits on it okay hits on this uh, barium particle it ionizes what do you mean by ionizes it releases this electron and this electron since there is no security and no help from the bodies in this uh, boundary so the outside forces can easily attack it and release it and since when it releases it it becomes barium plus two which is an ionized particle and this ionized particle reacts with the other particles already present in the earth's ionos ionosphere and uh, this reaction in the presence of sun causes the aurora creation okay so talking about what reaction uh, we are uh, seeing today we will be seeing today it will be just a sec yeah here you go so this is the reaction which we'll be seeing today so barium uh, combined with copper oxide in the presence of sunlight gives copper barium oxide and the barium so these are the liquid droplets which will simply fall into uh, uh, follow the rocket trajectory and fall back towards the earth copper and barium oxide liquid droplets but this barium which will be initially in ba uh, liquid form but it will vaporizes and uh, uh, you know come in gaseous form when uh, it is interacting with the sun so this barium will cause the uh, what you call this barium will cause this in the sky just a sec uh, yes this in the sky so most probably you will be seeing something like this 
this is this is the thing which you will be seeing mostly uh the purple and the greenish violet or you can say the this is uh, the barium vapors called this the uh, color is formed by the barium vapors this thing uh, mostly is formed by the lithium and strong strontium which is actually uh, imparted in the canisters only and uh, these are intentional imparted so that we can also have the this next uh, you know this uh, variant of the color and they can trace the thing so what exactly are nasa trying to do with this experiment so this experiment will actually tell them how the plasma particles interact how, uh, with the other plasma particle what is their energy what is the momentum and hence they will be actually be able to you know uh, make a mathematical model of the auroras which gets created in uh, on the earth's uh, magnetic poles so right now we don't have any as such things how these auroras create we know how are these auroras are created but we don't know i mean the kinetics of it so that's why this uh, experiment name also has been named as like kinetics you you need to know the kinetics of the plasma particles in order to understand how are they moving in space so this experiment will uh, surely make them understand this thing okay enough about enough talking about all the experiments rocket and auroras now the interesting part now we should be seeing how where and uh, you can see this rocket launch and uh, you know what are the things so this is the image which uh, summarizes how you can see the rocket from where from where you can see the rocket uh, the gray you can see here this is this has these uh, timestamps here kind of time st uh, stamps from 0 to 10 seconds here you can see it uh, mostly in georgia uh, uh, savannah if i'm not wrong then the the georgia you will be seeing at 10 to 30 seconds after liftoff these are the numbers which are there after liftoff georgia is there most probably uh, probably um you know carolina also north carolina atlanta maybe um i don't know maybe kentucky also you 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 have the map here you can understand uh what is the thing uh, at 0 to 10 seconds after liftoff the viewing area is here 10 to 30 seconds this is the viewing area 30 to 60 seconds after lift of this and 60 to 90 this and finally 90 to 120 this so this is how you will be able to view the rocket launch today okay this is the thing so if you have any other questions today right now you can surely ask me and i'll try to answer them uh how high is the sky do look we should be looking how high ohio um you need to uh, uh, this is the map here and for ohio if i'm not wrong this should be for around fall around 60 to 90 seconds you will see a bright spot or bright star in the sky which is moving hopefully that is your rocket so you will be able to see that around 60 to 90 seconds after the liftoff um Hi MLG Beast, hi Rhapsodos, hi Seagull Base, hi Melvin Colon, Colon, okay. <laughs> Watch 40 seconds lag here. Yes, you got it right. J W D S K I. Okay. Um, how bright will it be? It will be pretty bright because uh, since this is a nighttime launch, first of all, the uh, you know the the visibility of the auroras the thing which you are right now seeing is the rocket launch this thing is for the rocket launch but for the visibility of the auroras uh mostly it will be visible directly and more significantly over bermuda if you are living uh, near bermuda you are in great luck which you uh, because you will be able to see the aurora creation properly and more prominently i must say so sean johnson says i'm at wall up silent now uh you know congrats to you hopefully you'll be able to see this epic rocket launch today let me see if they are live right now uh, if they are not they should be coming in live now um no they are off here right now 
let me see if we do have any other update here the launch is still scheduled okay so this is the thing which we are getting right now let me just share it with you this is the thing which we are getting right now guys we are still counting down to open the launch window at 8 over 2 pm et for 40 minutes but it will be tricky we'll have to wait and see if the wind settled down enough to launch the rocket along with having clear skies here at wallops and bermuda because clear sky is the mandatory thing to have because then only they will be able to track the optics created from the auroras generation so that is the case and that's why the clear sky is the must requirement for today's experiment um so this is these are some of the facts which they are throwing in here where do i look we are launching the rockets from the wallops island virginia so just figure out which direction we are from you and that's where you need to look and this map will surely help you in uh, you know looking at to the sky um how big is the sounding rocket uh, sorry what am i looking for in the sky for most people the rocket is going to look like a small dot moving quickly through the sky similar to the international space station passing over but much faster obviously it will be a bright spot there moving in uh, up into the sky and uh, that's how you'll be able to track it be how big it's 140 feet tall and uh, you will be able to watch it here only 740 edt which must be how much uh 740 they must be live right now right we'll have to see although right now they are off here but whatever happens i'll surely update you accordingly okay can i see, see it from south west we i mean you can surely look at this map for your help uh you know for your reference and you can figure it out actually okay the aurora creation should be visible in bermuda about 10 minutes after the launch but will not last for very long jason alert you are very right on this the aurora creation will happen around 9 minutes 30 seconds to 10 minutes after the launch and this will you know the the um the visibility of the aurora will last for around 30 seconds or so because then the other unionized particles will take over and uh, the aurora will get dissolved so that is the thing very uh, sorry very says thank you for teaching us about this my pleasure guys this is what i do um I spread the knowledge of the upcoming stream as well as the space and rocket science and all those space technology because that is my passion and I want everyone to know about it and I believe that space is for peace, harmony and unity and uh, space is the one sector in which we can just unite and forget about everything and unite as a hum human species and uh, I really admire that thought so i think why not share with you all guys and you know you can also get a hang of what is happening so that's what i do i launch uh, so i host every rocket stream that happens every rocket launch that happens in the space industry as well as space events and other videos space related videos too you can find or find on my channel so if you want to have that kind of content you can consider subscribing if you like what i do you can give this stream a thumbs up and we'll wait for the stream to come live here we are right now off here hmm yep we are off here right now Uh, come on. It's five sixteen, right? They must be 
uh, the around what have they promised they must be online right now actually the thing is that they are uh, you know not in the just a sec they are not streaming in on youtube and that's why it becomes sometimes it becomes hard for us to figure out uh, whether we'll be having a stream or not right now i am just having a look at uh, all the updates and uh, right now everything is looking good for launch we are just waiting for the stream to pick up and launch is okay so we have an update guys just see this thing we have this update the launch hold we are holding the clock at t minus 15 minutes as we wait for better weather conditions to launch tonight sounding rocket mission the window will remain open till 8 42 pm edt we will start the live stream if you pick up the count stand by for more updates okay so that means we are uh, uh, right now on hold let me just update that in the stream also we are i mean t minus 15 minutes and holding that's what they call it right now uh you can go here which one can come uh, can come here and should work yeah so we are at home we are on hold right now because of the winds but everything is looking good uh because the weather conditions are right now not permitting hopefully the ground winds and the upper level winds as well as the cl clear sky is a concern which is to be monitored today and hence we are on a hold we are at t minus 15 minutes there is a 42 minutes launch 40 minutes around launch window so they are right now t minus 15 and holding we do have some time uh, if we uh, look at the launch window but yeah we'll have to see um yes daniel uh, johns i will show the show uh, the actual launch also so don't worry you will find everything here you can just ask your questions also right now uh and uh, 12 miles from the launch pad here ben says congrats to you you will be able to witness a, a cool rocket launch for uh today i mean guys just remember that uh, i have advice for you whosoever is watching this rocket launch in on the stream and you know maybe personally also just don't blink your eyes when the rocket lifts off because this rocket is uh, a solid fueled rocket and it has way to thrust to weight ratio way to thrust for its weight and uh, it will be like swoosh into the sky and you will miss it completely if you just blink your eyes also so when you are witnessing the launch when you are witnessing the lift off don't blink the eye just focus on the launch and enjoy the launch uh sydney says uh, i think it's getting cancelled based on the falling channel no 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 i that is not the case here um we are holding in because of the weather right now okay no we are not go for the launch us east coast might also see the launch of this okay yes uh verica you are from norway i don't think so you will be able to see it properly but uh um aurora see guys auroras are very very beautiful very beautiful and um if you t tend to be in the northern hemisphere or the south southern hemisphere of the earth and you are there when the auroras are forming that site is very beautiful to watch i mean <sighs> you can see from here only what am i trying to say this imagine this site actually in front of your eyes this site these are the auroras and uh, you are here standing on the earth seeing up in the sky and you are actually seeing this this beautiful greenish um greenish yellowish kind of light streams that are there and they stay for a very long time also so if you are you know um 
the problem with auroras is that they are unpredictable and why are they unpredictable because uh, we don't know how the solar winds will occur how will they react and no how will they occur because so actually we don't know how will they occur the solar winds how will they occur uh, what's the possibility of hitting um, that plasma ejection to the earth we don't know about it right now because uh, we haven't studied the sun yet properly so that's why the nasa solar uh, parker solar probe is there which actually studies this thing which studies the coronal mass ejections we studies the sun and uh, um, you know you can actually um, in in because of the solar uh, parker solar probe you will be able to guess i mean predict the solar winds if they are uh, if the instruments are working properly right now scientists are researching on that and hopefully we'll be able to have a uh, you know the prediction of when it will happen because that event the solar winds the solar flares and all those things they are pretty um destructive also they you know tend to create this beautiful auroras in the to the sky and that's very good that's mesmerizing and all those things but they also tend to disrupt our electrical system the power systems the satellite communications and whatnot because they tend to react with em radiations and all those things and uh, tend to disrupt all those uh, technologies which handles them so we don't want a power failure to occur because of a space event and that too uh, in a very unpredictable way because we are not ready for it yet so hence we need to uh, study them study the solar uh, sun the solar wind solar flares and all those things and hopefully you get a better uh, you know prediction of when it will happen so that is the case so uh, hi uh, okay thank you so much omar omar manejwala if i'm not wrong omar manejwala for that five dollars super chat really helps the channel to stay alive and uh, you know gets this con type of content going on where did you get this uh, grenade brick where is this grenade brick? release of barium vapor no noel brand say release of barium vapor that will form two green violet clouds that may be visible for about 30 seconds the bari va the barium vapor is not harmful to the environment or public health exactly these barium vapors if you just missed what i told you there is a bit of chemistry out there uh, this is the flight profile kind of a flight profile mm -hmm. you know we don't know much about it but yeah these are this is the barium atom in which they have these two loosely held electrons and when the sunlight interacts with these two loosely held electrons they tend to release it and this barium uh, atom becomes ionized as barium plus two and then uh, it interacts with other neutral atoms present in the ionosphere uh, mainly oxygen uh, nitrogen and uh, you know because of that interaction we get to see the aurora so that is the case here hmm. and this has this uh, uh, reaction which will happen these are the barium canisters these barium canisters actually have barium as a solid copper oxide as a solid and uh, they tend to uh, you know they will actually be detonating these uh, canisters they there are two canisters on the payload one will be detonated during the ascent and the one other uh, the another one will be detonated when it is coming down during the descent and uh, because of that detonation there will be a huge amount of uh, uh, energy which will be released around 2500 kilo a kelvin of heat which will cause this reaction to occur and uh, this will actually create the copper liquid the barium oxide as liquid and the barium metal also as liquid only like in liquid state only but uh, these two are you know um, do not vaporizes instantaneously and follow the rocket trajectory okay but these one and these are all if i'm not wrong what we call as the c u and b a o if i'm not wrong are the tracers which follow the high altitude winds because they don't get to vaporize and uh, that is the case 
uh, other than that uh, the um, the barium which is in liquid form it vaporizes in the presence of sun it becomes in a gaseous form and then you know that all chemistry happens it loses the electrons and become ionized and we get to see this this is the thing which you should be looking for hopefully um, these are the barium clouds and these are i don't i think these are the uh, lithium and strontium clouds if i'm not wrong i think so that is the case and uh, uh, the lithium and strontium are the impurities kind of a thing which you can add to the reaction which uh, will give a dynamic color to the experiment for the aurora's creation so that is the case here and here is how you can view it hmm from south jersey where do i look to see this uh, it southeast so this is the map here guys after 0 to 10 seconds uh, you know 0 to 10 seconds after lift off this green area is the viewing uh, um, um, you know a area i must say then the, we have 10 to 30 seconds for uh, we have this area 30 to 60 we have this area and uh, uh, means the purple area and 60 to 90 we have yellow and then again blue so this is the range of uh, time in which you can see the uh, rocket launch here why is it on hold there there are some kind of uh, uh, ground level winds and the sky is not clear yet which needs to be clear obviously for these kind of experiments to occur launch is on hold right now yep exactly 29 or and what language are they using this was not in a built uh, this was not a built in hold bill smith uh, maybe the weather is not permitting right now let me see if we do have any other updates right now here uh so right now we don't have any other updates we are holding the launch clock at t minus 15 minutes as we wait for better weather conditions to launch tonight's sounding rocket mission we will start the live stream if we pick up the count stand by for more okay and uh, okay till that time i can answer your questions or i can describe more about the rocket itself what do you guys will prefer yes uh, it would be better to have google maps open side by side so as to know where your uh, viewing area is and how you can uh, you know view it yes michael this feed will show the launch so guys welcome to the stream uh, and uh, we are right now if you are just joined in we are right now on hold because of the weather and uh, if the weather permits we have a 40 minutes launch window and uh, at 8 42 pm we have the launch window till 8 42 pm eastern and uh, if the weather permits by then we'll have the launch stream so just sit tight relax and we'll have to see what we can have here okay so let me just tell you about the rocket itself i can see many uh, many viewers have joined in so let me just tell you about the rocket here so this is the black brand 12 rocket which will be launching today and you can see it's a pretty dynamic rocket and uh, it's a very curbally rocket if you can uh, if you have placed played ksp you know what i mean this is the first rocket which everyone builds with fins and solid rocket motors and all those things so this is the kerbali rock version of uh, the rocket this is the sounding rocket basically and the difference between a sounding and the orbital rocket is that only in which the sounding rocket just goes straight up very very fastly and then comes down that's it 
for an orbital rocket it, it goes straight up and then in the sideways direction uh very very fast to attain an orbit and to stay there so this is the difference between these two so this is the sounding rocket which will go straight up and then come down that is the thing and this rocket is a four stage rocket which you can see here this is the first stage this whitish core is the first stage then this uh, reddish one is the second then this uh, black one is the third and this another black one is the fourth stage so this is a four stage rocket and uh, this is the heaviest uh, sounding rocket which nasa is operating right now okay so talking about the dimensions of this rocket so i mean the technical aspects for this rocket uh, all of the four stages uses solid rocket fuel okay and they use industry standard solid rocket fuel only the stpb this is the industry standard most of the solid motors use this fuel only and uh, this is no exception so we have this first stage which is a uh, Telus motor if I'm not wrong yeah Telus motor then the second stage is a terrier motor many of you get, will get confused with uh, stating this as a Taurus motor but it's not a Taurus motor this is a terrier motor and then we have uh, the black brand motor and then we have the Nika motor so these are the four stages all of them run on solid fuels with different kind of fins attached with it so since you can see here we have the fins still uh, this third stage which means we are still in the atmosphere for this third when the third stage operates because uh, fins are there to stabilize the rocket during the launch uh, so that it does not uh, you know change its trajectory and all those things so that is the case and if you just look at the rocket it has a very unique design i mean this tail section here is broader at the bottom and then it is decreasing at the top so this kind of design actually helps the rocket to separate using the atmospheric drag so that's why it does not have to use all those pyros and all those springs which conventional rockets use to separate the stages here the differential in the atmospheric drag causes the uh, stages to separate because of this design see what will happen when the the rocket is going up the air will hit on these um you know these corners right and because of that it will exert a force in the downward direction here and uh, when will when it will uh, you know exert a force in the downward direction obviously that stage will get separated so that is a unique thing which we have here and uh, if i'm not wrong the vega rocket also uses uh, this kind of uh, uh separation mechanism it combines both of them this the vega rocket also has that uh, uh, differential drag uh, tail section so this is a thing which we have to see okay um this is the profile yeah we have already seen that let me see if we have any other updates um we are on hold only right now and maybe we can have a look at your suggestions and your pictures and whatnot you have tweeted also something okay guys if you are uh, viewing this launch you can very much tweet us and uh, we'll see from where you are seeing this launch and uh, how excited you are to see the artificial aurora creation okay just a sec this is going to be an awesome exactly delayed or not it is on hold right now um and uh, astra says do you know if i can still view it if i am slightly out of the range uh see the thing is that if you have clear skies in your area only thing with the these kind of rocket launches is that uh see the apogee is around 500 kilometers okay so if you kind of do some maths you will be able to see uh get to know where you can see the uh aurora creation at least because the apogee is around uh 400 to 500 kilometers and uh at that apogee maybe you will be able to see 
at a very long distance we'll have to see that uh brian thank you so much brian for that super chat thank you for your brilliant information thank you so much uh, brian it really helps the channel to stay alive and uh, motivate me also to provide such content with such awesomeness okay anyone have where to watch okay many guys are wondering where to watch let me just have the map up here uh where is it yeah here is the map guys this is the thing from where you can see this is the map uh you can see and uh, you can take as a guiding uh reference when to see and where to look at where to look at you have to uh, you know uh, go on your instincts only but when to look at look up to the sky this is the thing 10 seconds after the lift off the green area the blue area 10 to 20 10 to 30 and then so on and so forth right now we are on hold at t minus 15 minutes and many people are commenting about the chinese rocket which will be crashing today okay i know that guys uh, okay so this thank you so much frank for that five dollar but super calligraphic calligraph califragilistic x PLA. okay you know what I, I know what you are doing and what you are trying to do okay it's okay um yes we will have a live stream guys okay let me see what you have tweeted in here if you have tweeted anything right now i know nothing has been tweeted you can uh tweet us guys uh, at rocket gyan um twitter handle is the rocket gyan you can tweet us from where you are seeing this launch and are you ready to see this launch properly today Thank you is for that one dollar super chat really helps it okay what if i superimpose the google maps on to this image that would be great right uh but uh, that would take some video editing also steven say what impulse class of each motor okay steven what is the impulse class of the each motor uh, that's a good question steven let me just tell you what's the impulse and what's the force here if you go in want to go into the technical aspects of it see the thing with this uh, solid uh, sounding rocket is that we don't know much about it i mean this has been in operation since 1990s i must say but there hasn't been so much updated information on the internet which verifies some of the facts so we can be a bit off but yeah that is the thing here and talking about the impulse or the force which you can uh see here we don't have the force for the first and the second stage which i can see right now here uh, but we do have something for the third stage here uh okay so the third stage which is the uh, the black brand five third stage produces the thrust level of around seven tons and it has an action time of around 32 seconds this is what we know about the third stage and for the fourth stage it has an average thrust of around 4.8 tons with a total impulse of uh, 85 47 kilogram per kilogram second sorry kilogram second yeah that is the case uh thanks for the live coverage uh says dan roy thank you so much dan for that uh, five dollar super chat really helps it when will we see it in the main you will have to ga okay let me just try to superimpose the map <laughs> cookies are my superpower has tweeted and he says watching and waiting for the launch to happen and uh, is there any risk of the chinese rocket debris hitting this rocket so guys uh, if you are tracking that chinese uh, rocket debris 
it is more certainly going to hit the atmosphere uh, in just around um, an hour or so yeah you'd said uh, okay okay thank you so much uh, uh, nick well for that five dollars so uh talking about this chinese rocket we are i am also tracking it i'm also looking at some good amount of tracking here latest tip as of this is uh, it shows a projected re-entry at uh, 20 at a utc 211 utc plus minus 60 minutes at latitude this and this wait we let me see if we have that uh, re-entry point here we can see that also hmm right now we don't have i think so we don't have the image right now but we do have something for today just a sec hmm okay we do have a lat lawn but uh no image as to when where is the predicted okay okay 7.8 kilometers second just one minute differential in the time of re-entry 470 kilometer differential in the final log we are in the uncertainty window still the uncertainty window is decreasing but it's still plus minus 60 minutes or so we'll see that uh okay what else do we have here the entry is going to be at 2 11 pm that will depend on from where you are seeing thank you kate buckley for that five dollar super sticker it really helps it uh thank you so much brian for that appreciation okay you can actually ch check out my channel also and everything uh, to know what I do. You will get to understand. If you are just new to this channel, I can understand. I can totally understand what you are trying to say. But you can surely check out the channel and you will get to... I think you will be, uh, you know, not get very upset with my streams. So, yeah, that is the thing uh impact window from chinese rocket will be now estimated to be nine uh okay spain israel saudi arabia australia and new zealand all in risk zone spain israel saudi arabia australia and new zealand all in the risk zone usa with highest prob probability for an ocean impact see the gu see guys this uh, uh rocket core stage so if you don't know what is happening with this uh, rocket there was a launch of the tna core uh, tna core module which is the chinese space station and the rocket debris which you are actually tracking right now which is you know which can uh, fall back to the earth and may risk life was uh, the rocket which supported that launch that was a long march 5b rocket and uh, that rocket is a very you know unique in its uh, own kind that's a 1.5 stage to the orbit in which they have the boosters which is separable they have four booster which is separable and then they have the core stage that's it no second stage no upper stage nothing they have this core stage uh, a big core stage that's it and that remains in an orbit also china right now does not have any de active deorbiting capability uh, which can you know reduce the uh, drag or you can say control the orbit deorbiting of the um core module or yeah the course um booster so that's why they don't have any uh deorbiting capability active deorbiting capability and hence they rely on the atmospheric drag and hence slowly and slowly the apogee has decreased and decreased by the time and now today is the day when it will re-enter the atmosphere although we can see here that the probability is uh, highest probability is that it will hit uh, the ocean only but we never know what we can happen because it's a tumbling stage the tumbling causes some issue when analyzing the re-entry and everything because we are not able to uh, make a proper and accurate model of a tumbling stage how it will re-enter and where it will be landing so that is the case here clouds are rolling in at edison jin in hope we will see still see this rocket 
David says that let's hope finger crossed and we'll we see if we can see it or not watching from SC right now are you going to watch it too I'm here with you trying to explain what is happening and everything so let's see what do we have in here so any other update till now uh okay <laughs> So the update is this guys we have some super chats also I'm in central Florida how high is the sky should we be looking at also keep up the great work thank you so much Emily W for the $10 but right now um, I don't think so we'll be having the launch which we can see here the launch is scrubbed tonight sounding rocket launch has been postponed to no earlier than 8 or 3 p.m. Sunday May 9 so we we have a scrub not a rud and uh, that's what we want right and we have a backup launch window tomorrow only so that also i'll be streaming so do join me for that the launch has been postponed due to upper level winds not being within the required limits for a safe launch the launch window for sunday runs until 8 43 so it's a typical typically the same rocket uh, uh, launch window tomorrow also so we'll be seeing that and hopefully i'll have to again wake up early in the morning to witness the launch it's, i today i woke up at around 3 45 and uh, i slept at around 2 a.m and they woke up at around 3 45 so that was the case okay so we can surely uh, track the um maybe we can track the rocket okay so we do all we also have this falcon 9 starlink launch guys i'll be streaming this also and uh, this rocket launch itself is very interesting i mean uh this starlink this is a routine starlink launch right there is nothing has to be uh interesting interested about excited about i must say um but today is the day when spacex will be attempting to uh fly their booster for the 10th time and this will be a you know record for them and they have claimed that the falcon 9 can be reused for up to 10 times and then later uh, space um, elon himself tweeted that uh, the we are not seeing that much of wear and tear on the rocket which we expected hence we can very well expect around uh, 20 to 30 flights with the same booster that would be surely be revolutionary and today is the day when we will be seeing a booster which will be flying for the 10th time and hopefully they will be landing it right onto the bullseye and uh, they'll be able to recover it i'll be looking forward to that right now uh guys uh, i can see that sometime you know um, people are not able to understand they are saying that weather is very good right now and uh, i don't seem to i don't seem to have any issue with the weather maybe that is the case with the ground level winds but as they mentioned in the uh, in their tweet that the issue for the scrub was the upper level winds stood for today and the upper level winds surely and necessarily becomes a condition when it's a sounding rocket because uh, they don't have a, a very good thrust vectoring control with it and uh, they totally you know mostly rely on their fins to control the trajectory of the rocket hopefully some kind of reaction control maybe but uh, yeah that is the case and that's why for sounding rocket the upper level winds is a bit of a concern GH says thank you sir for the info where, where are you located Kya aapko hindi aati hai? yes humko hindi aati hai and uh, we can talk in hindi also tomorrow second pm is 2 am est yes uh, for the for the same rocket launch which was scrubbed today okay let me just update this first done okay so uh yeah the today's rocket launch has been scrubbed and we have a backup launch window tomorrow at the same time so i'll be streaming that also you can come and 
लुक एट दैट टू डू यू यू कैन आस्क मी राइट नाउ द क्वेश्चन एंड आई एल बी आंसरिंग दैम निवेक से सरफेस वेदर इज वेरी विंडी हेयर अबाउट वन ट्वेंटी फाइव माइल्स नॉर्थ ऑफ द लॉन्च साइड विंड्स एट ट्वेंटी टू माइल्स पर आर दैट कुड बी अ कंसर्न वेन अ रॉकेट इज गोइंग टू फास्टली इन टू विद इन द थिकर एटमोसफेयर द विंड्स आर वेरी मच अ कंसर्न फॉर सच टाइप ऑफ रॉकेट्स विच हैज सच एन एनॉर्मस थ्रस्ट टू वेट रेशियो Thank you, Bob Evans, for that appreciation. It's not cancelled yet, and I'll be streaming the Starlink launch also, and hopefully uh, we'll try to get some insight onto uh, what we have in store for the launch. So do come in for that. We have around six hours until the lift off for the SpaceX Starlink, and hopefully they make this world record for the very first time. Uh, let me just see what do we what else do we have here? You have. Have you tweeted anything? Nope, not yet. We can very well look at the uh, who's ready for a fun, exciting Saturday night. I am very much excited for it. Elon is coming on uh, SNL if I am not wrong, and we'll be seeing that. Okay. Um. can we see some tracking info for the chinese rocket here uh 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 okay we do have something here this was the last update before the reentry has occurred this uh, uh, i mean eu space surveillance and tracking is actually tracking this thing here and right now what was the last tweet this was the last tweet which they did so these are the risk zone when uh, oh oops oops uh, which they mentioned here the red lines here suggest that uh, at uh, those uh, ground tracks the rocket will be directly above the vehicle i uh, means above these states the red uh, the red uh, color indicates that the green is normal in which you won't be hopefully be seeing any problem here and right now the predicted reentry point is here uh, at a uh, near the australia i mean not the reentry the landing point the splash down or landing whatever you say so that is the thing here but the thing with the tumbling rocket is that we can't accurately predict anything and that too the rocket will be mostly be burning up in the atmosphere so the bigger stage will be shredding up okay hopefully it will be shredding up uh, in which most of the parts will be burning up in the atmosphere and some of them will go and uh, uh, come down into to the sea or whatever they are uh, land also hmm Starlink launch is scheduled in around six hours from now. Yes, it is cancelled. Chase, that is cancelled. But we are right now tracking the Chinese core stage. Yes, it will launch tomorrow. Thank you so much for the appreciation, guys. I really appreciate it. I mean, I am just a guy here, uh, spitting out facts about rocket. space trajectory orbital mechanics and what not because that's what interest me a lot and uh, uh, that is my passion also to have a knowledge about all these things and uh, to spread it uh, to my family friends and to all of you so that is what i'm trying to do here hmm we have a tracker also here so um sat player yeah Be able to track the rocket hmm okay so right now the this is how the situation looks like and uh, i think we are in the phase in which we are expected to see something 
not right now still have some time but yeah right now this is the uh, ground track in which you can see it is above uh, going above portugal it italia okay iran india and australia but i think this from um maybe the next ground track is the one which which you should be looking at so that is the thing hmm interesting okay we have a newly updated info uh, it will probably be the last one before the event window is plus minus 60 minutes and the estimate central point is here okay but what is the re uh, point here where we can expect the uh, splash down or the la crashing to occur don't have that info right away hmm see uh, uh, terrifying if we can't figure out when and where the rocket is crashing imagine an asteroid 9x the thing is um see now the potential app you know what can happen after uh, today let's just assume let's just assume that it is hurling towards the earth and uh, according to its predicted re-entry point and predicting the crashing point it is hurling towards us let's just assume that right now right now but uh, from the all the tles and all the ground tracks which we can see here it is not looking like that but let's just assume that it is going towards us now what will happen we i think what can happen is us can very well invoke their military hardware and intercept the uh, uh core stage as treating it as a missile target hopefully that can happen we don't know and when if and if there is an invokement of the military hardware that could seriously mean something could happen <laughs> with the us and china so let's just hope everything remains calm and we have a safe re-entry and uh, hopefully the crashing can happen just over the ocean that's it okay guys the this uh, the rocket launch is scrubbed right now for today uh, we are uh, we have a backup launch window for tomorrow the reason for scrub is the upper level winds and uh, you can very well come again here on this channel only and uh, we'll be seeing that again so yeah let me just update this thing i think if we don't have any other thing to discuss about we can very well end the stream today if you have any other questions you can surely ask me does this stream show the launch super sport gtrs we will show the launch but the thing is today or today it is scrubbed tomorrow we will be having the stream again Thank you for the time and info David says uh, guys I really appreciate you appreciating me and uh, my efforts uh, I'm really happy that uh, whatever I am doing it is making some difference in your lives you can understand what is going on and everything so thank you so much for that but just remember guys please 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 come back again for this starlink launch i'll be streaming that also and hopefully we can see the history being made uh, by spacex together and uh, yeah that is the case what time tomorrow tomorrow the same time 8 pm edt uh, the then there is a 40 minute launch window so let's hope we have a clear weather tomorrow we have uh, uh, clear weather we have the ground winds under control and uh, under the permits and the upper level also under the permits
the rocket for the this rocket the sounding rocket will be going up uh, that's it it's just we're going up and then coming down that's it and for those of you following the um, chinese core module re-entry we have a very good guy for that jonathan mcdowell he is actually tweeting everything and uh, maybe you can follow him for the um, you know updates for the rocket but right now we are hopefully in the re-entry window and let's see what happens so for today this is the thing the launch is scrapped tonight sounding rocket launch has been postponed at no earlier than 8 pm uh, on sunday the la the launch has been postponed due to upper level winds not being within the required limits for a safe launch the launch window for sunday runs until 8 43 pm this is the last update which we have got and uh, i think we can end the stream and now we will be uh hopefully we'll be joining back again i ho hope that you all guys We'll join back again for the Starlink launch today. Hmm. With live tracking of the CZ-5B rocket, I'll be uh, looking over to that SBO246. Thank you so much for that info. Hmm. See the guys, the thing with this rocket, the, the rocket which is coming back towards the Earth, mostly it will be disintegrated uh, in the atmosphere only and maybe some large parts will hit uh, the people hopefully that does not happen but last time also similar kind of thing happened and uh, if i remember correctly there was a rocket part not the whole rocket but the rocket part which disintegrated it landed up in africa and uh, um it uh, actually landed on someone's roof on africa and it i remember it destroyed one cheese making machine <laughs> okay so that is the thing which happened uh, last time hopefully nothing as such happens for today it's a safe uh, re-entry and uh, everything just uh, you know calms down and uh, splashes down on the ocean only and if you are a rocket nerd and you are space nerd i know what you are thinking please 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 god it, it let's just hope that it re-enters over my area so that i can have some rocket parts i know <laughs> that is what you are thinking um i also want that i also want some real rocket parts which we can uh, have and have a look at that but uh, safety is always a concern so let's hope that it just goes over the ocean and splashes down there only the barium vapor and everything rob henry yes the rockets will be releasing the barium vapor and uh, i'll be discussing again whatever i've discussed today tomorrow also so that is the thing yes rocket parts gh i'm very much looking forward to collecting some rocket parts hopefully <laughs> but i i know that is not that will not be the case See guys, uh, if you are just wondering what will happen if it uh, somehow manages to uh, hurl towards some country which has some anti-satellite or anti-missile missiles, I can, uh, you know, the thing with this big of big stage, bigger stage, which is a 23 ton stage, you can intercept it with a missile that is not a problem and it will hopefully destroy it in on the atmosphere in the atmosphere only but the thing is that it will create many small debris okay and many small smaller particles which is still hurling back towards the earth and those smaller particles can cause havoc if it is going over a popular a populated area so if you have seen expense you know what i'm talking about uh, the expense web series there was one uh, asteroid which was coming towards the earth 
तो इन डिफेंस फॉर द फॉर द प्लानिटरी डिफेंस वॉट दे डिड दे फायर अप अ न्यू ऑन द एस्ट्रॉयड इज डिसग्रेटेड इन टू मैनी पार्ट्स एंड देन अगेन देर वर सो मैनी न्यूक्स विच वर फायर्ड ऑन टू द स्मॉलर डिसइंटीग्रेटेड पार्ट्स तो समथिंग ऑफ डैट सोड सॉट नीड्स टू बी डन हेयर बट आई डोंट थिंक सो डैट इज द केपेबिलिटी ऑफ एनी कंट्री राइट नाउ बट वील हैव टू सी वॉट इज द थिंग सो या uh for without cable okay alpha uh, omega i have something for you if you don't have the cable uh elon has already taken care of that hopefully if i am not wrong he tweeted something special link to view snl outside usa so this is the live streaming link guys if you are uh, if you want to view the snl today Thus, I know many people will be watching it today, and I am one of them. So this is the live streaming link which you can get on the Saturday Night Live YouTube channel. They will be live streaming this uh, uh, event, and you can watch it live on the channel. You don't need any kind of subscription. So that is a good thing. Okay guys I think we can end this stream now and uh, we will be coming back with a starlink launch tomorrow so no starlink launch is today the uh, this uh, today's launch the black brand 12 rocket launch is tomorrow so I'll be streaming that also and do come in for starlink launch so I think we can end this stream now and if you don't have any other questions I can surely end this stream Hmm. Let me have a final update on the tracking if we have any. Otherwise, everything is good. We don't seem to have any other update right now. But yeah, okay. So finally, the launch is cupped for today. we are now uh, looking in for the starlink launch spacex making a world record and let's see what we have in here thank you so much for joining in guys i really appreciate you all coming in and listening to my space talks you can say that right and uh, hopefully if you like my channel consider subscribing it and uh, you know you can also like the stream if you want and i'll be coming back with the starlink launch i have said it for a very long time now but yeah okay so until then this is priyan shurila you just saw rocket gyan stay safe stay healthy and bye bye